Hello, I'm Devanjan Chakravarti of the British Council, and in conversation with me is Rob Lyons, Country Director, of British Council of India. Rob, thank you very much for taking time to speak to us. It's been a very busy day for you, I know. Um, I was just wondering, from your professional, professional and organizational perspective, what is the relevance of the theme of this year's conference, which is English language teacher education in a diverse environment? Well, <coughs> I think uh, I'm delighted for a start that, that uh, we've chosen this theme this year um, because it aligns very much with the British Council's values. And uh, one of the core values of the British Council is around equal opportunity and diversity, uh, which we promote and encourage and hopefully live by that value through all our work. Um, so it's of, of real relevance to, to what we do, and particularly in the field of education, and in this particular case, English language teacher education. Uh, why do you think the British Council supports the English language teacher educators conference, which happens in Hyderabad? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the third year, as you know, that we've uh, worked with the English and Foreign Languages University on this conference and uh, English is a core part of the British Council's work in cultural relations. Um, English no longer belongs to, to the UK, if it ever did, um, and it's, I suppose, one of the ways in which uh, we promote our work about creating international opportunities for people in the UK and other countries, and obviously people with uh, English, which is a, a skill nowadays, able to communicate, able to build up a uh, better understanding of each other, um, create international partnerships, uh, and that is essentially why we are supporting this particular conference, bringing together teacher educators and teachers and institutions from across India and other countries as well. So it's uh, essentially a core part of what we do, and we're delighted to support it. Uh, as you rightly said, this is the third edition of the Teacher Educators Conference. Uh, looking back, uh, how would you compare this year's conference with the last year's conference, which you were also part of? Well, it's bigger. That's the first thing I've noticed. Um, there's been a lot more interest this year. Um, we've got uh, higher numbers of people participating. We've got uh, greater interest from uh, some of the sponsors, some of the people uh, who support uh, the work in English across uh, across India and beyond, um, and I think there's a, a real sense of professionalism and commitment and passion um, that I've noticed, and certainly the people that I've spoken to uh, during the course of the day. There's also a good uh, quality of uh, speakers. I thought our plenary speaker today was was excellent, uh, Professor Kumar. Um, so I think, you know, we've raised the bar, I think, this year in terms of uh, quality, uh, quality of discussion, quality of debate, uh, in terms of size, and also in terms of reach. I think, uh, again, this year we live webcast in the sessions. We are out there on Facebook, out there on Twitter. And it isn't about the conference simply happening here. It's about the discussions that go on beyond the conference out into uh, the wider networks. Um, what are the particular achievements of a conference like this, uh, to your mind? Well, one of the things I, 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 I've noticed uh, talking to a lot of people is that uh, for, for many, it's often the first opportunity they've had to come to a, a large conference which has an international dimension, um, maybe take them out of their rural schools, uh, out of their communities, into a wider forum, uh, they're able to share their experiences. So one of the, the achievements, I think, is actually opening up opportunities to people who wouldn't necessarily have them. Uh, and if they can take new ideas back to their communities, back to their schools, then I think that will be great and build up new networks. I think that would be one of the great achievements uh, that I would see come out of this conference. And what do you think are the particular challenges that a conference like this one poses to an organization like the British Council in India? What, other than actually organizing the conference, which yes. my colleagues have done so wonderfully well for the third time. I mean, it, uh, it does take a huge amount of time, effort, 
logistics to put together a conference of this size uh, for the quality of conference. And I think uh, the team have done a fantastic job. Um, the challenge is, I always think, is uh, how do you ensure that the next one's going to be better? Not necessarily bigger, but, but better. Um, I've been to, this is my second conference in two weeks, actually. I was at a conference in Dubai recently. And I, I think we need to look at the format of, of conferences per se. Um, I think technology is offering us new opportunities. Um, I think, uh, you know, conferences are a lot about networking. Um, how do we create better networking opportunities for people at conferences? How do we take what happens at this conference forward um, so it just doesn't become a three-day event where everybody goes away and forgets about what actually happens here. So I think there's a real obligation on us and EFLU as organisers of this conference to make sure that the passion and the work that comes out of this conference and the ideas get taken forward and hopefully then feed into the conference next year. So I think one of the challenges is actually to make sure at the end of the conference, that isn't the end, but that's the beginning, and that it's seen as part of an ongoing dialogue, an ongoing discussion, an ongoing development for all involved, and that the next conference comes up with new ideas and, you know, creates that buzz that, that actually, you know, this is part of an ongoing developing process. I think when conferences uh, are the same and the same format and the same themes, then they become pretty boring. So I think... Uh, you know, we've had three excellent conferences. I think we need to really think now, you know, because the expectations rise uh, about next year. So I would like to see now from this conference um, the work taken forward, the ideas taken forward, and building up a momentum to next year. And we'll do, I think, hopefully, we'll look for a few surprises next year. Right. Any particular um, sort of cha um, target you'd like to set for the British Council next year uh, in terms of this particular conference? Well, I think, um, I mean, we've, we're, I think we're looking at about 1,300 uh, participants at this conference today. I'd like to set a target of, of uh, let's engage with 1,500 people in Hyderabad next year. Um, but let's really look at how we can reach out to many thousands, and if not millions, through the conference, through the, 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 the follow-up, through the webcasts, through the, yeah. the, the, the technology, the Twitter, the Facebook, etc. But also some of the papers that come out, the networks, the debates that come out, the discussions. So how do you build the ripples from the, 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 the drop in the water that, uh, that, that, that takes us out? So you know, targets, I would look at you know, how many people do we want to reach, yeah. how many dis discussions we want to engage with, what papers and things want to come out of this. So uh, we should be challenging to ourselves. You spoke to a number of people uh, from the states uh, we work mm. with. Um, any particular uh, incident story that stands out for your individual? Well, I met uh, a, a wonderful gentleman from Bihar um, who told me how he went to, and this is part of our, our, our program in, uh, in, in Bihar, working to uh, develop uh, teach trainers to work in the, 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 the schools. He told me how he went to the state government and asked for uh, some money to organize a, a training session for, uh, to bring a number of the trainers and teachers together. And uh, he had no response at all. So he went out to the market, he borrowed the money, he organized the event himself, he brought the teachers in, he delivered the events. It was a fantastic event by all accounts. And he took the receipt back to the government and handed it to them and said, well, there you are, pay for that. Um, to which they were a bit surprised. I think they were grateful that they'd taken that on, that he'd taken that on. And uh, they've now nominated as a regional coordinator. So, I mean, there's a gentleman who's really taken the initiative and uh, is being recognized for that. So I thought it was a, a very nice story this morning. Thank you. Rob for taking time to speak to us. That was Rob Lance, Country Director, British Council India.